welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's pop on over to the Discord chat real quick. Let everyone know that we are live. Drop a few notifications over there. Won't take but a minute. Let's see who's going to be first in chat today. Always interesting to see. Alright, got that done. Uh, go ahead and turn that on. Let's see, Maddie's going to be first in chat today. What's up, Maddie? What's up, Olivia? Welcome, guys. I'm rocking the uh, ACDC shirt today. I feel like I'm back in uh, high school or something, but hey, you know, I just I just ripped whatever out of the closet and threw it on. So, I mean, but ACDC's a good band. I like it. I dig it. What's up, Sam? Welcome, dude. <clears throat> welcome, welcome. What are we going to be talking about today, guys? Today we are going to be talking about the mind. Is the mind your enemy? Your mind. Is it your enemy? We talk a lot about not fighting with negative intrusive thoughts. We talk a lot about, uh, you know, not fighting with these triggers, embracing these triggers, you know, all of these negative intrusive thoughts that can pop up in your head and cause this, this huge physical reaction, especially when you're sensitized. So does that mean, does that mean, chat, that the mind is your enemy? Does that mean that the mind should be looked at something uh, that is considered the enemy. That's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to we're going to talk a little bit about um, positive thinking, whether positive thinking is a bad thing or not. You know, uh, like I said, we always talk about acceptance of negative intrusive thoughts rather than fighting with them and arguing with them. Uh, but we're just going to go a little bit deeper today in the mind, whether or not we should see it as friend or foe, whether or not positive thinking is, is something that's actually good to do. We're just going to dive a little bit deeper into the whole mind thing today. What's up, AC? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I did drop my uh, Discord notifications, correct? Yes, I did. Okay. What's up, Max? Welcome, dude. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you all are uh, doing well. I took a, I took a day. Was it a day or was it two days? I don't know. I took a little bit of time off from streaming, but we are back. So uh, let's go ahead and drop the link. <clears throat> Where's it at? Where's it at? The link to the Discord right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that was loud. What was that? A Java update. Okay, that was extremely, extremely loud. Uh, I'm going to get a little dark in here for a second, but let's go ahead and drop that Discord link. Bit of an echo there, right there, Discord link in the chat. <clears throat> I'm here, what's up, Truth? You made it, you made it on time today, I love to see it. Training days ended, bro, on a whole new level. Nice, man, just keep in mind, Max, keep in mind, no matter what anxiety throws your way from here on out, maybe you have some... Uh, more training days, right, in store for you. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody really knows. But no matter what, you know what to do, and we just got to keep you on track. That's what matters. <clears throat> What's up, Travis? What is up, dude? Freedom of confidence. The thoughts are just sliding away now. Nice, nice. No longer fighting. No longer arguing with. No longer fueling the fire. Teaching your brain that these thoughts and these feelings are not important, are not dangerous, a.k.a cutting out that second fear. I love to see it. Good to see you. It's good to see you, Truth. Welcome. <clears throat> good to see everybody. The link to the Discord is in the chat, guys, if anybody wants to join up over there. It's completely free to do so. Uh, I know that YouTube notification bell doesn't always work. Doesn't always work, so I try to make sure to notify my Discord every single time before I go live. <clears throat> hey, Wonder Bro, how are you? I'm good, Jay. What's up, dude? Oh, I'm here before it's starting. Mint, you're on time today. Welcome, Mint. How have you been? <coughs> Chat is uh, filling up, guys. Chat is filling up. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this started. Actually, we are almost full. Let's go ahead and get this started. Let's just jump right into it. So today we're going to be talking about the mind. The mind is it your enemy? That's what we want to address today. So if you guys have been following uh, following me for a while, you know that when it comes to these negative intrusive thoughts, these things that trigger you, if you want to train your brain to not treat these things as dangers, which we know they're not, if we want to train our brains, we know that we need to accept these negative intrusive thoughts instead of fighting with them. We see them for what they are, but we no longer fuel the fire. When we get up there and we try to fight with these thoughts, it just leads to one rabbit hole after another, right? It just stresses us out. 
and it doesn't actually accomplish anything because the amygdala is not listening, aka the part of your brain responsible for anxiety, right? So we know all this good stuff. We know all this good stuff. We know that fighting with negative intrusive thoughts is pointless. We know it's stressful. We know it's considered second fear. We know if we want to prove to the brain that these thoughts are not real dangers, we know that we just have to leave them alone, let them do uh, their thing while we do our thing, right? We know that. If you've been here for a while, you know that. But that brings us to the topic of today's stream. If we know that to be true, do we do we then consider the mind to be an enemy? Do we then consider the mind to be a villain, a bad guy in our story, right? And the answer to that question is a simple no. Your mind is not a villain. Your mind is not an enemy. Your mind is not a bad guy. It's a little out of whack. Granted, it's a little out of whack and your nerves are a little bit tired, which is causing your mind and body to not exactly be uh, where you want them to be, right? All of that is true, but do we consider the mind an enemy? Do we consider it a villain, this big bad foe that we want no part of? No, we don't consider it an enemy. We don't consider it a villain. We shouldn't treat these thoughts like they are the enemy. We should treat these thoughts, as we just said, with complete acceptance. And we should understand that just because we're in a tired nervous system, just because our mind and body are a little behind schedule, they're a little tired, right? They're a little upset, does not mean that we make them into this big enemy, this big monster. It does not mean that we should go around cursing at our minds. We should not go around cursing at our minds, making our minds into this big bad foe, right? Again, granted, you might be sensitized. Your mind and body might not be on the same page right now. Everything might be a little out of whack, but that does not mean we go around cursing the mind. The mind is not a villain. It is not an enemy. As you heal, okay, these negative intrusive thoughts will start to fade. That takes time. Okay, that takes time, but they will start to fade, and you'll notice that your mind becomes less negative over time with acceptance. You'll notice that your mind becomes less aggressive with all of these triggers over time. You'll notice that your mind stops acting like a villain because it's not a villain it's not a villain but you'll notice that as you heal it stops acting like one right so we don't want to go around cursing our minds and thinking that our minds are some great big powerful um uh, enemy that needs to be defeated right we just need to understand the reality of the situation use acceptance and move on with it but we don't want to treat it like something that we need to take up sword and shield and fight against it's not an enemy and it's not trying to attack you it's just the current state right it's just its current state so to answer the title of the stream their mind is not an enemy it's not a villain and i don't want you to make it out as one so moving on right I'm wearing the same shirt right now. Awesome, dude. Moving on, right, to the next topic of today's stream. When we say accept negative intrusive thoughts so that you can stop fueling the fire, so that you can teach your brain that these things are, are not important, so you can retrain your brain, right, because we know that the fight is pointless. We know that the fight stresses us out. When we say all this, does that mean it's never okay to be positive? No. It does not mean that it's never okay to be positive. In your real life, dealing with real life situations, it is more than okay to be a positive person. It is more than okay, right, to work on positivity. It is more than okay to work on your perspective in the real world. So, for starters, we don't want you to think that we're telling you that your mind is some great big enemy or some monster. We're just using acceptance because we're breaking out of the cycle of the current state that it's in right and over time it'll start to shift and it'll start to change okay and secondly we're also not telling you that it's not okay to be a more positive person to have a more positive outlook we don't want you arguing with the specifics of these negative intrusive thoughts that is correct because that's futile and stressful and it keeps you in the cycle it gives these things importance but at the same time that's not to say that you can't work on your perspective in life in real situations in real life situations that's not to say that you can't work work on being a more positive person. You can. We're telling you that it's pointless, stressful, and keeping you in the cycle to fight with these negative intrusive thoughts, right? That's what we're telling you. But we're not telling you that it's not okay to be a more positive person. It is. You can work on changing your perspective. You can work on being a more positive person, right? If I'm a generally negative person about life, if I wake up every day and I see the world, uh, you know, and I, and I go through the, I go through the motions of my day and I run into certain people in my life and I'm always telling myself, you know, I'm using my thinking mind to tell myself, oh, I hate these people. These are such bad people. I can't stand to be around them. They're hopeless, right? If that's the kind of person I am, I absolutely can work on my own thinking, 
what I'm choosing to think about my real life situation, right? It's always okay to be a more positive person in life, right? In life, in the real world, right? But to argue with negative intrusive thoughts and triggers that pop up in your mind is not going to get you anywhere because it's just one big cycle. So you see what we're saying? You're not arguing with negative intrusive thoughts anymore, but it's more than okay to change your thinking about the real world, right? About real life situations. That's okay. We don't argue with negative intrusive thoughts, but if we go around and we make the choice to use our own thinking mind to be very negative, right, about every single thing that we encounter in the real world, then it's okay to work on that. It's okay to work on that. It's okay to start seeing the glass as half full rather than half empty, right? That's okay. That's fine. It's okay to work on your perspective of life, right, when it comes down to your own thinking that you're choosing to do. We never want to argue with negative intrusive thoughts because that's just going to fuel them. That's just going to give them more power. We don't feed what we don't want to grow, right? But if I notice that every single day I'm choosing with my own conscious thinking to be a very negative person about the real world, about real things that are happening in life, okay, then I can choose to work on that if I want to, right? I'm not here to tell you that you need to be a more positive person. I'm just here to talk about anxiety and tell you how anxiety works, get you out of the anxiety cycle. Whether or not you want to work on your perspectives in life and try to be more positive people in the real world, that's up to you. That's up to you, right? But I just wanted to make this stream to let you guys know we are not trying to say that your mind is a villain. We are not trying to say that your mind is a monster. We are not trying to say that your mind is some great big force that you need to fight against, right? And number two, it's okay to start to see the glass as half full rather than half empty. It's okay to work on your perspectives in the real world. It's okay to go through life and work on your own perspectives. That's fine, right? But when it comes to those negative, intrusive, anxious thoughts, you're wasting your time fighting with them. So you see what we're saying here. I don't want anyone to get confused. You see what we're saying here. We're saying we never want you to fight with negative, intrusive thoughts because that keeps you in the cycle and it feeds what you don't want to grow, right? It's just stressful. It's pointless. It's futile. You shouldn't fight with what you don't want to grow. So we're never saying that it's okay to fight with those negative, intrusive thoughts. It's not. Leave them alone. Acceptance, right? But as far as the real world goes, as far as the real world goes, as far as your real life goes, if you are choosing to use your own conscious thinking mind to be a very negative person all the time, that is something you can work on if you'd like to. If you'd like to start to work on becoming a person that sees the glass half full rather than half empty, then go for it. But don't use your conscious thinking mind to fight with negative intrusive thoughts. That's obviously something you don't want to do. We've preached that since day one. That's one of the two main keys. But if you want to use your conscious thinking mind to try to be a more positive person in the real world, right, with real life situations that are right in front of you happening now, then sure, go for it. You can work on your perspective, right? You can work on your perspective. You can work on becoming a more positive person, right? I'm not going to blame you for that. I'm not going to scold you for that. Right. So, you know, just just two things that I wanted to really cover today. Number one, we're not trying to say that your mind is a monster. We're not trying to say that your mind is a monster. And number two, if you want to work on your perspective of life, if you're using your own conscious thinking to be a real asshole. Right. Then you can do that. You can work on that. Feel free to work on that. Feel free to make those changes if you would like, right? I'm not here to, to tell you one way or another whether you should or not. I'm here to get you out of the anxiety cycle. Uh, but I, I still wanted to cover this topic today, right? I still wanted to cover this topic today to let people know those two things, just to kind of throw that out there, you know, that way for my people that maybe they're, they're starting to heal or they're almost at full recovery and they want to take their, their self-improvement and their self-growth to the next level. Now, here, there's a few little uh, things to remember for you. Right. So this is kind of just like a bonus, if anything, uh, talking about the mind today and and whether or not you can start to work on your perspectives of life. You can. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. You should never argue with the negative intrusive thoughts. That's pointless. You're just feeding what you don't want to grow. Right. But if you want to work on your perspectives in the real world, if you want to start to see the glass half full rather than half empty, go for it. If, you, if you're the kind of person that uses your conscious thinking to be very negative all the time, you can work on that, right? If you're the kind of person that in the real world with real life situations, you always are telling yourself consciously with your own thinking, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, then you can work on that, right? You can work on that. But when you get those negative intrusive thoughts that just pop up, 
and they trigger you. You know what to do. Acceptance. Don't get into your conscious thinking trying to fight with those. Pointless, futile, keeps you in the cycle. But if you're the kind of person that goes around and you choose with your own thinking to say, oh, you know, the glass is half empty, it's not half full, you can work on that if you'd like to work on that, right? You can you can use that self-growth. You can have that self-improvement if you would like. So two things, just two things that I wanted to make known today, just two things that I wanted to kind of throw out there today, you know, because uh, a lot of people, uh, and I highly recommend, by the way, that you watch the Thoughts versus Thinking stream if you haven't already. It kind of it kind of shows you that what's the difference between pop-up thoughts that kind of come out of nowhere and your own will to think, right? Because there is a difference there, and it's pretty obvious when you start looking for it. It's pretty obvious when you start practicing it. So um, I hope everyone takes something from this stream, right? And if you want to continue on with self uh, self improvement, self growth, that is awesome. We're gonna go ahead though and switch on over to the post stream good stream today guys I'm, I'm happy with that i'm happy with the things we were able to cover um let's see we've got a five dollar tip coming in from uh sam sam in the chat with the five dollar tip man thank you so much we are on a 21 day streak which is just absolutely insane guys 21 day streak can we take a second just to just to take that in man that is crazy uh what is up craig welcome dude welcome welcome how not to get emotionally attached to people. Uh, this can be uh, energy draining for me. Yeah, getting emotionally attached to uh, people or things can be pretty emotionally draining. Uh, advice on how not to get emotionally attached to people. I would say give yourself free roam to do whatever it is that you want to do, right? So let's say you get emotionally attached to a person. Getting emotion emotionally attached is not necessarily where the suffering is going to come from. The suffering is going to come from the resistance. The suffering is going to come from, uh, you know, let's say I get emotionally emotionally attached to a person and then I do all of this conscious worry all of this conscious thinking I get the thoughts and then I add the worry to them aka the thinking that's where your suffering is going to come from not so much the attachment it's itself right but rather the worry that we add to the attachment do you see where we're going with that <clears throat> I get, I get where you're going with that, Mint, but at the same time, do you see how that's all just worry being added to the thought of, okay, well, if I do this, then my mind gained this. So there's the thought. You probably sat around, and you're probably minding your own business when you had that thought, but then you, then you followed up with it. Then you added a lot of worry to it. Now it's become some great big force. So do you see what we're saying there? Uh, so you were probably sitting around minding your own business. You had the thought, oh, well, if I do this, my mind gains this. That probably happened in thought form. That probably happened in thought form, but then you came in and you added all the worry to it. You added all the conscious thinking to it, right? So you see kind of where we're going with that. Uh, but at any at, at any given point, we can start to take the power away from this thought by no longer doing that. <clears throat> What's up, Cassie? Welcome. Hold on one second, guys, all right?
All right, sorry about that. Pardon, pardon the interruption there, guys. I had to take that phone call. It's very important. Um, <clears throat> what's up, sick? Welcome, dude. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that, guys. Let's uh, go ahead and get some music going. Let's go ahead and get some music going. Sanchez, what's up, dude? I'm trying to get caught up on comments that I might have missed earlier. What's up, Sanchez? Welcome, man. Welcome. Uh, okay. Well, a belief is a thought. So that's the thing. That's the thing about thoughts and beliefs, man. A belief is a thought. A thought is a belief. So it only becomes a belief when you entertain it that long. So I get what you're saying there. There's kind of a difference between thought and belief, but at the same time, they're the same thing. Uh, a belief is nothing more than a thought that you've entertained to death, right? 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 And you say, I'm, which I'm starting to realize um, to live by until I find a way to ensure me and my mind are on the same team. Well, your mind is always going to be kind of like this separate entity, uh, entity that's going to throw thoughts at you. So as far as getting on the same team, well, I mean, it's going to come down to what thoughts you are entertaining, what thoughts you are fueling. That's going to determine what becomes quote-unquote beliefs, right? So at the end of the day, it's up to you. Your mind doesn't really need to be on your team. You're a one-man team here. This is This is on you. Right, So it's not necessarily that you need your mind uh, to be on the same team as you in order to make progress. Um, unfortunately, you don't, well, not even unfortunately, but you don't get a teammate here. This is this is you. This is on you. So the mind is, is always going to throw certain negative intrusive thoughts your way, and it's going to be up to you if you entertain them to death to the point that they come uh, become beliefs. And even if they have become what we call beliefs, it doesn't really matter at any, at any given point. Any given point, we can start to turn that around. At any given point, we can start to turn that around by no longer entertaining or following up with these thoughts and just letting them play out, letting them do their thing while you do your thing. So you can continue to reinforce, right, by fighting with and entertaining and following up with, you can continue to reinforce, or at any given point, you can start to turn that around. So, uh, And really, that's going to come down to you and you alone, not necessarily your mind needing to be on the same page as you, right? How to break this pattern? Accept the thoughts instead of trying to do something about them. So you're trying to break uh, the pattern, which in a sense I get what you're saying. But if you're trying to break the pattern in the way that you're fighting with or arguing with, then you're still doing the thing that we don't want you to do, right? So the thought comes, okay, this person behaved a certain way to me. You say, okay, and then you let it do its own thing while you do your own thing, which is not exactly the most comfortable process, right? That's not exactly the most comfortable process, but you know if you get up there with your own conscious thinking and try to do something about these negative thoughts that you're just feeding what you don't want to grow, right? <clears throat> you know that. You know that if you get up there in your own conscious thinking and try to do something about these thoughts that you're just feeding what you don't want to grow. It's very tempting to want to do that because you feel like you need to get involved, but you know involvement, right, is just going to equal strain. You know involvement is just going to be you feeding what you don't want to grow, right? So, again, the advice never has changed and the advice never will change. Uh, and although I know you're a human being that loves to get involved, <laughs> right, most people are. And I know that it's not exactly the most comfortable process to have these thoughts coming, but to not get involved with your own conscious thinking and to instead just allow it to play out, right? Even though I know that's not the most comfortable or fun process in the world, this is how you stop feeding what you don't want to grow. This is how you stop adding fuel to the fire. This is how you teach your brain that these thoughts are not um, needed, right? Right? Because involvement equals importance. You're giving them importance, Right. And a lot of people think, well, I can I can think my way out of this. No, you can't. You can only fuel the fire. You're not working with water. You're working with gas. So at the end of the day, that's why we never want to argue with these negative intrusive thoughts if we don't want them to stick around. Right. Uh, and again, to kind of touch on the main point of today's stream, does that mean you can't be a positive person? No, that doesn't mean you can't be a positive person. You can be a more positive person in the real life, in the, you know, the real world, in real life. You can start looking at the glass half full rather than half empty, but that doesn't mean you have to get up there and get involved with the specifics of these negative intrusive thoughts. You don't, and you shouldn't, right? So I hope every I hope everyone's kind of on the same page there. I hope that makes sense. 
that I might still have an oh god reaction for a split second to these negative uh, intrusive thoughts, but they are not lingering around for as long. Yeah, the worry habit can seem almost automatic, right? The negative intrusive thought comes in and you kind of have a knee jerk, uh, ha a hab habitual reaction to these thoughts like, oh god, there it is. But you can catch that rather quickly and turn that into acceptance, right? And you're still winning if you do that. You're still absolutely winning if you do that. Absolutely. I get what you're saying 110%, Kate, and that's true. Let's see, we never got our music going. Let's try something different today. Let's mix it up a little bit today. What's up, Jesse? Yeah, hey, you're making progress, Travis. You're making progress, and that's what matters, dude. <clears throat> For anyone who didn't know, sick in the chat is A. That's A from the uh, <laughs> A from the Discord. Can you tell me how to not resist the heartbreak? So you got to stay on top of things by realizing. <laughs> These thoughts and these feelings come and go. Some days you're jumping for joy. Some days you're crying over your heartbreak, right? Some days you're jumping for joy. Some days you're crying over this heartbreak. So on the days you're crying over this heartbreak, you got to remind yourself this is a, a temporary thing. I can get involved or I can accept it for what it is with the least amount of resistance as possible, right? way to get rid of heartbreak get a new woman that's horrible advice jesse we want to feel it we got to feel it to heal it first or we're just going to get caught in a cycle <laughs> but but jesse is a pimp so uh wonder bro what's up what's up john <clears throat> why do all say get me a new woman i don't know why they say that uh, don't listen to that. <laughs> Got to be willing to feel it to heal it, man. And it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. Nobody said it was going to be fun, right? It's not going to be fun. But, but, you got to feel it to heal it. <clears throat> Stupid ad, man. Stupid ad.
Nope, it ain't fun at all, man, but it's part of the process, right? What's up, Maddie? I want to donate, but I don't want to jump out of the stream. <clears throat> we are on a 21-day streak, man. It's insane. I never thought we'd hit 21 days. How have you been, John? <laughs> What's up, Mike? crazy though <laughs> Making it rain says love today's topic feels super relevant to me not something I often talk about with anyone so really helps I'm glad you enjoyed the stream mint thank you for the $20 tip let's show mint some love in the chat man we're at 25 today will we move on to a 22 day streak I don't know I'm surprised we hit 21 that is uh, mind blowing thank you guys so much show mint some love in the chat please <clears throat> John says nah dude all girls are crazy <laughs> Thank you so much, Mint. I appreciate you. Yes, yes, yes. Show Mint some love in the chat, guys. Hey, that's awesome, John. Hey, I appreciate that, dude. You don't have to do that. That would be cool. I need to add that. I need to add that to the wish list, some Alan, uh, Alan Watts books. I don't have any physical copies of uh, any Alan Watts books, so that'd be awesome. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy with today's topic too, Mint. Um, you know, it's something that we don't often talk about. Of course, we talk about breaking out of the anxiety cycle all the time, but we never really get into whether it's then okay to just be a more positive person in life in general. You know, uh, we never really talk about that a whole a whole lot here on the channel. So, I was happy to be able to kind of touch on that a little bit today. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
What's up, Tony? I believe that's Tony, right? Have you played the th uh, stream theme song? Not yet. We need to. We need to. We need to. And we definitely will. I think it's, uh, let me see. Am I even on the right, the right one? I don't even know if I'm on the right one or not. Yeah, here we go. Okay, there we go. Never mind. There you go. It just started playing on its own. That was funny. <laughs> Nothing beats the theme song. You're right, Mint. You're r absolutely right. Alan Watts is a philosopher. He doesn't talk about sensitization or anything like that. Um, he just talks about the mind and, and whatnot. If you're sensitized, I probably wouldn't recommend it because he'll make your fucking head spin in a million circles. But he's my favorite uh, favorite philosopher. Gotta feel it to heal it, eh? That should be the that should be the channel catchphrase. The channel motto. It's usually either one or the other, John. People either think they're going to die from it or go crazy from it. Two of the more common fears. Hey, Mama Vate. 
Mom of eight coming in with a $25 tip says, Sometimes I wonder if my brain does anything but worry, working hard to accept. It can feel that way when you're sensitized, right? You can have a lot of those negative intrusive thoughts. Uh, keep in mind, though, that's not necessarily worry. You can have a ton of thoughts, but if you add the worry by getting up there and getting involved, that's something we got to break, right? Thank you so much for the $25 tip. That moves us on to tip goal, guys, which means we're moving on to a 22-day streak. 22 days streak absolutely insane thank you guys so much i really appreciate it thank you guys seriously thank you so much <clears throat> thank you thank you yes let's show mom of eight some love Looking thank you so much oh we've got an ad on our music here thank you guys thank you 22 days is insane i appreciate it guys in the ocean you uh personally i wouldn't recommend that you try to dig up any old bones a eh? I don't think I personally would recommend that you try getting back with her to avoid this pain there's a lot of avoidance going on a lot of people saying you should find a new woman to, to avoid the pain. You should get back with the woman to avoid the pain. A lot of avoidance going on with you guys. What the fuck, man? You guys don't listen to anything I say? <laughs> what the hell, guys? Get the dirt out of your ears. Oh, come on, he's 18 wonder, bro. He's got to get it sooner rather than later. I'd rather him get it at 18. I'd rather him get it at 18. If he's going to avoid, that's going to be a lifelong habit. And you guys already know that. <laughs> the meaning of being sensitized your nerves are fried 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 sensitized means your uh, your nerves are about as tired as they can get so you know once you get to that point anxiety is going to be more willing to pop off over every little thing you remember that movie wonder bro um I don't think so. I don't think so. <coughs> what uh what movie are you referring to, Jesse? I agree with you there, Mitt. Some days you want her back, and some days you're jumping for joy. I think it was just yesterday you were like, life is so great in the Discord. Sounds to me like you're going through a very uh, typical heartbreak. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, let's see.
typical heartbreak. You're gonna have ups and downs. How to be a player, look it up. I don't think I've ever seen that. An older movie. Yeah, I've not seen very many movies. I'm not really a huge movie guy, so I'll have to look that up if I remember. If you don't want to change. All right, guys, we are approaching that one hour mark. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for everything. I love each and every one of you so much. And I'm sure I'll see you over on the Discord in just a minute. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much again for watching, uh, supporting, and just, just in general. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Going to go ahead and get out of here. It was a good one. Thank you for the 22-day streak. And I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. And